Hi guys, once again my name is jean Saint Charles and welcome to part 3 of how to install your Alavis MMO Creator. Now we're going to do the part about the client. So in Steam what you want to do is press launch. This is only for Steam users, Unity users and if you bought it on NeoJack it won't be the same way but Steam users you have to do it that way. You'll have to create your Alavis account over here. So click here and I'll do it with you guys. And I have my personal account already created on the Jack website, but I'll use a new user for that. And and let's hit create. And the account has been created. So that's how you want to create your account. Now you can download Unity. So Unity is free by the way. There's two versions. There's a free version and there's the paid version. Uh, for Atavis you can use the free version. There's no problem. So just download the version of Unity at least 4.6 point something. Uh, there's a version 5 coming out soon but everything works fine and correctly under version 4 of Unity. So once this is installed, I mean the Unity, uh, you'll start a new project. So I'll close this and I'll start my Unity client. Okay, so what you have here is the Unity that starts up. I might ask you to create a new project, so whenever you create a project, uh, you'll say where you want to save it and make sure that nothing selected down here so make sure that there's no selection what you'll want to do is take the package that you've extracted before uh, remember we had the Adavis Unity version 2.3 package and also on the forum if you want to use the UMR characters you'll have to install that package uh, the link is provided below in part 3 of this tutorial so you'll need to download this package separately if you want to use UMA. So I'll just double click on that package. And we'll wait for a bit. Okay, and hit import. So it might take a couple of minutes. I might cut the video if it takes too long. Okay, first package has been imported. We'll import the second one, so UMA. And for people that have the AdVoxel also, you might want to import it right away. If you don't know what AdVoxel is, it makes you be able to uh, makes modification to the terrain in the world so it's a voxel generator but most people and um, most of you guys will only use those two packages so once again I might do a small cut in the video if it takes too long okay guys I've just finished importing everything uh, what you'll want to do next is go onto your window and add it is online and it's gonna ask you uh, to log in Remember, don't do the Steam registration here. Do it like in the first window I showed you before under Steam. And what I'll use, I'll use the info at and I'll log in, and that should work. Sorry if I write the right password. It's gonna work. And here we are. So as you can see, I'm logging as info at sgp.com and I have an account type of starter. What you want to do is press search. Okay guys, uh, when you click on the database, you'll have the information here. I had to make a little cut because like all my real passwords were written down. And this is not the first time I've used it. So database host, remember when we got the no IP, just write down what you got as the no IP like this and the uh, database user is Adavis. If you use another user, just write the right user. And like I told you, I'm using pass for me for that demo. And we'll do the same over here. 
www.cgp.com and pass for me and if I do test connection it's written success and we have success here so everything's fine in this on this page so now you can just close this what you want to do afterward is set up your build settings so go into file and build settings and what we want to add is first if you go into scenes over here in your project you want to drag your login your UMI character and then we want to take the main world and if so after you open s the login here you go on to the Adobe score and over here we're saying master server type down your new IP connection at cgp.com or your own connection and water height uh, if I remember correctly the island demo is at minus 34 might have to check that afterward but this is at what height the character will start to swim there's no animation but at least that will work correctly so now if I press play I'm gonna create an account make sure it works so let's call this demo and one password and again pass for me and an email test.test.com does it really matter and hit create account created now you can log in so okay so I'm gonna log in okay now we can create a character so male female let's call it demo and we can fiddle with those those options if you want to have fun with it and I'll just hit create so I have that character here now and I can hit enter and here we are on the island everything looks fine and I said minus 434 for the water I might have been mistaken uh, let's see so that's the character so she's at 38 yeah well it's more like minus something as you can see now she's gonna start to float because <coughs> she thinks well the character thinks it's underwater so we'll just correct this so people know so once again come here and the water is more likely at minus 38 we'll try that again If I enter the world, okay. Now she's kind of running on the water, but you'll have to like play with those variables to make sure the water is correct. But I just wanted to show you that now she's kind of she would be like swimming if we had the correct animation, but at least everything is working correctly. And then she'll start to run, and I can jump. Yep, so everything looks fine. I have other tutorials, if you want to watch them, you can check my YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Jean-Sebastien Schultz. I hope it helps you guys to set up your server and set up your accounts. So I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.